in this video, I'm going to be demonstrating some further lathe operations which are common uh, in the production of turned components. The first one I'm going to demonstrate is producing a 45 degree chamfer. It's very common to have 45 degree chamfers on components to remove sharp edges. position the tool so that the 45 degree cutting edge of the tool is close to the corner of the workpiece. I'll then slowly move the tool towards the workpiece until the edge of the tool just touches the corner of the workpiece. Point, I will zero the digital readout moving back to the tool I'll use the carriage hand wheel to move the tool two millimeters That has produced a 2mm by 45 degree chamfer. In this video, I want to demonstrate how to cut a tapered diameter using the compound slide of the lathe. The compound slide can be set at any angle. On the front there is a series of graduations which show degrees of angle. By slackening, slackening the two bolts which secure the compound slide, the compound slide can then be swirled to any desired angle. In this instance I'm going to produce a 10 degree angle. So the 10 degree mark on the graduations is set alongside the datum mark. The two nuts are then tightened to secure the, the top slide. So now I'm going to start the chuck, start the machine rotating. I'm then going to move the tool to its initial starting point using the carriage hand wheel and the cross slide hand wheel so that the corner of the tool is just touching the corner of the workpiece. The digital readout should be zeroed both on diameter and length. Move the tool and weight a little bit using the carriage hand wheel and I then need to reverse the compound side a few turns. and bring the readout to minus five millimeters. If I then begin to turn the compound slide hand wheel, the 
two of them, put a tear back of 10 degrees. I then need to measure the length of the taper which has been produced. The length of the taper which has been produced is 6.1 millimeters. I then need to readjust the digital readout to the size which I measured. The lathe can then be switched on again. And the tool moved to minus 10 millimeters. The line which I marked on the workpiece is 10 millimeters from the end. And this cut should finish at the same point as the marked off line. The next lathe process I'm going to demonstrate is cutting a square shaped groove. The groove tool has a flat front face and the width of the groove tool determines the width of the groove. In this case the groove tool is 3mm wide so we are going to end up with a 3mm wide groove. The diameter of the workpiece is 34mm which means that I need to set the distance from the tool to the front face. The left hand side of the groove will be 10 millimeters from the front face. I then need to move the tool forward using the cross slide hand wheel until the front of the tool just touches the diameter of the workpiece. At that point I would set the diameter to 34 millimeters. In order to produce a groove which has a diameter of 30 millimeters, we need to advance the tool using the cross slide hand wheel until the digital readout 
shows 30 millimetres. The tool would then need to be retracted from the workpiece and moved away. 